All right. Testing. One, two, three. Okay. Um, what? Should I bring my laptop closer? Let me know if y'all like the shot the way it is right now. Or y'all obviously, you know what? Yeah, I think y'all might like this because there's two, two camera angles, right? So also tell me, please give me uh, some information on the what kind of guests y'all would want to see on the podcast it could be mma and non-mma related just whatever y'all are interested in me and t will go ahead and see if we can get in contact so my friend uh did you follow that that instagram page i, I keep sending you this is episode three episode three <laughs> the wheel the way, the wheel the way. <laughs> yeah, sir. tell me brother what you getting into today today i'm uh, i'm going to work today sadly I gotta go work the nine to five. Where you work at? I Man, I work at Dick Sporting Goods. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, man. You don't like retail? Retail is terrible. Retail is terrible, man. They treat you. They treat you like. They treat you. Who treats you? And then dig your boss serving. or whatever. No, I actually have a good boss. My boss, he actually treats everybody like his family because he's a, he's a dad. He's a dad, and his kids are young. His kids in high school, so he treats everybody like, a, you know, like he's pops. He's cool. It's the it's the people that's there because we work in the mall. Yeah. When you're in the mall, it's always people coming through, and they don't mean coming through just to get in your store. They just be coming through, just go to the bathroom, just to walk. yeah, just to look at shoes, just to walk, look around. Yeah, man, you get tired of that other day, man. <clears throat> Part of the story. I don't I don't ever go to the mall to do anything. For real. Unless that was a young like, thing. Unless I'm shopping for like a gift. Some don't go to the mall like that. Hey, old lady, you know what time it is? We going to Victoria Secret. <laughs> Victoria don't tell nobody. Hey, we going. Victoria's secret. Hey. Shit. I go to Macy's. We find some good clothes at Macy's. Macy's got the stuff. It's cool, but mostly I do all my clothes shopping like online. Mm. I do online. No, online. I terrible. Online. Yeah, because I know, I know like kind of what I like, my style, whatever. Cause I feel you. I'm just going. Really? I like to dress up. Mm. I like to dress up. If I'm not dressing up, I'm going to be like this, like real casual. Yeah. Like, I'll be in some pajamas, slides, no socks. Bro, that's my problem. <laughs> I'm bummy. I'm bummy all day. Yeah. All day. <clears throat> nah, yeah. I only, like. I really only like to like dress up if I have somewhere to go. Yeah. If I'm going on a date, my my little lady, or uh, going to the fights. So I actually, you know, I you know, even the fights, then. I don't even. Yeah. yeah. It, vacation. Yeah. Vacation, vacation for sure. Vacation that's what I get sure. all my clothes for. That's for sure, for sure. The last probably five years, if I've ever bought clothes, it was for vacation. Yeah. I haven't bought mm. clothes, haven't bought shoes really. Got all my clothes. What? Like, probably end of high school after I graduated. Bro, I still got the same clothes from high school. For college and yeah. shit. Yeah, I ain't grow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got a little bit bigger. Yeah, lost some weight. That's about it. Yeah. No, but, uh, okay, you're going to go to work. Mm -hmm. uh, that's from, you said 2 to 5? Uh, yeah, about, yeah. Probably uh, 12, 12, 30, 12, 12, 30, 12, 30 to 5. Hopefully I can get to this gym. I need to get to the gym, get this work in jiu-jitsu, man. I've been getting, uh, I've been getting better. Jiu-jitsu. Yeah, jiu-jitsu, yeah. I've been getting a lot better, man, so I want to, um, you know, pile on good days, so it add up, you know. It sticks. It's hard for the jiu-jitsu to stick, man. You got to, honestly, like like I said, striking is like riding a bike. It's just going to happen for you, and it, that just takes time. But jiu-jitsu, it has to stick. It's like a curriculum at this point. Nah, yeah, it is. It is like a curriculum, uh, almost in a way, and it's like a curriculum for each level or each stage or each belt. <clears throat> you wanna, you gotta fill in the blanks, cause really we know nothing. Naturally, we know nothing about grappling. And you, just, uh, you were at the seminar for Professor Octavius, Definitely. Octavio Kuto. Mm -hmm. I was there. Um, and you hear him talk about that whole instincts versus intuition, right? Absolutely. And yeah, our instincts are shit. They, our instincts are push away, yeah. use all my muscle, explode, mm -hmm. explode, especially athletes, <clears throat> explode, yeah. big, you're a big dude, explode, muscle up out of there, that's our instincts, but not for this, it, using your intuition, whatever you've learned, I mean, there's a lot, mm -hmm. grappling's been around for a long time, a bunch of different arts, uh, freestyle wrestling, folk style, Greco-Roman, Sambo, Judo, uh, these are all different styles of grappling, jiu-jitsu, Japanese mm -hmm. jiu-jitsu, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, different, these are all different styles of martial arts, grappling martial arts, and yeah, these, these techniques, like honestly, 
it's very rare mm-hmm. that you're gonna you remember I told you I, I might have found a new technique I it's very I don't even know if that's a new I still need to research around see, <laughs> see, I got you. see, I got you. Yes, see if anyone hey, has say the name uh, don't run from it say the name don't nah I ain't gonna <laughs> nah, not yet I, let me hit it in a competition push it, push it, push <laughs> and then I almost I tried last competition to hit it but it just yeah, yeah. now nah, it's because I wanted to have multiple matches that way I could mm-hmm. like see but like because so for those of you who don't know or didn't watch my last video yet uh, I posted about me uh, my last tournament that just happened Saturday mm-hmm. but it wasn't really a tournament I just had like one match because nobody in my uh, belt rank or weight division or whatever showed up don't know why I, had, I was supposed to have like three people uh, it was supposed to be me and two other people mm-hmm. so it wasn't gonna be a big brag it was gonna be like a round robin type deal yeah. and see who comes out on top but yeah for some reason neither of them showed so I had to scour the whole place find a, a opponent not really yeah I, I like went around cuz I thought it was just gonna be done they was gonna give me a medal for no reason I'm like ain't no way yeah but ain't no way. so I just I ran around I found the people who ran the place or whatever and that we just walked around asking a bunch of people if they knew someone who could roll it was like that it was like that and at first they were trying to suggest like a white belt. I was like, like you know, I want to get some of my rank. Like, I'm trying to learn something, you know. They about to give you a white belt. Something. No way. They got me a blue belt though. That's cool. Good little blue belt That's wrestler. Cool. That's cool. Wrestler. He was like fast. He was pretty like you know. He was cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we ended up going, and you know, in hindsight, he took it. He took the the match or whatever. Mm. Cool dude. I was I was thankful that he took it, but ended up getting like kicked in the nose like swelled up bleeding a little bit mm. like yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. he was like trying to pass or whatever and and you know i'm guard retaining you know my feet are flying you know what time it is <laughs> you already know what time it is yeah. yeah my feet are flying yeah. so he ended up getting kicked in the nose and Jeez. yeah and he like i'm talking about like i i thought it was gonna be over it was like 30 seconds into the match he like shot on a low single eye I like uh, at first I was thinking about stuffing or, or dropping for like mm-hmm. a, a guillotine or something, but then I like I just like sat into guard, got my overhook, and I was trying to do you know I was just trying yeah. to attack, but so that's actually what gave him the initial two points, and then that happened again later, and then there is yeah, and then the refereeing was a little questionable as well. Man, isn't it always? Isn't it always? Yeah. No, no, it's not always. Uh, Jiu Jitsu World League, their refereeing was pretty good yeah it was pretty good mm-hmm. it was pretty good they were actually on top of all the stalling uh stalling calls and everything well this one i mean that stalling is a big thing too bro. yeah i mean and you know i understand he went he was up on points you know I'm uh, he's he knew my rank because he asked me while we were walking he knew my rank he knew i was a purple belt he wanted you know under his yeah you know, yeah you know what time it is cool. you know hey man i hey, man, i don't really beat him you know what he wanted. Hey, come on. <laughs> you, you know, know what time it is? Yeah. But yeah, so next, I don't know what I'm going to do next, to be honest, because I low-key wanted to strike right after that. I was just like, right, just not like strike, but like be able to strike on the ground. Like, it'd be real cool to do like combat jujitsu. I don't know if you've ever watched that. Oh, yeah, I have. You have? Ain't no man slapping me in my head. Wait, you, like you watched it? You Wait, who have you, wa- who have you watched? Huh? I, I can't say names, but like I said, I'm the character. <laughs> but, uh, but I have watched <laughs> combat jujitsu, and they get active. That ain't for me. Mm-mm. I'm gonna punch you. You slap me in my ear. No, but that's no. See, but I want that though, cause like then they can't. Cause I don't know if combat jujitsu has points. Matter of fact, does combat jujitsu have points? I don't think so. Isn't it? Some, it I don't. To be some I, hopefully, it, it is submission only. Hidden. But no, I would assume they have points. Yeah. Uh, combat jujitsu rules. This would be really interesting. I, I just want to know like the requirements. Like, mm-hmm. is it only black belts doing this? Um, I know like BJJ Damien does it. I know uh, uh, Tackett, Andrew, or and William, one of them, one of them, Andrew Tackett. I don't know, like some nineteen-year-old or twenty-year-old black belt. That's tough. Nineteen like, or twenty-year-old black belt. Yeah, like kind of like the Rutello brothers. He's a problem. Yeah, so he does it. I think he just won. Andrew Tackett. Oh, yeah. He's like I really like his scrambles and everything. Yeah. That's just. He's really good. All right, rounds are 10 minutes long with up to EBI overtimes available. Up to what? EBI, okay. So it's 10 minutes long. Strikes, you know, slaps, everything. No closed fists. 
only open palm yeah you could really like open palm you know in texas um in texas before like mma you know was legal and stuff like you could only use like open hand like they would actually like when it was bare knuckle mm -hmm. people would use open hand strikes wow. they would use open hand strikes and there was actually more open like percentage wise it was a higher percentage of knockouts from open hand strikes than really balling it up wow that's 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 scary. yeah nah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah it's not just like slapping <clears throat> like they use like the base the, the base yeah, yeah mm -hmm. and then yeah, yeah, my pops used to hit me like that when I was a child. <laughs> back of the head? Yeah, back in the day. Yeah. I had a big head, too. No, hurt. back of the head. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get you. Mm. Get you. <laughs> okay, purgatory. What is this? Uh, position is when one competitor is grounded and the other is still standing and not engaging in a leg entanglement or mm. a guard position. Okay. Uh, competitors allowed 30 seconds of purgatory for the entire match. Damn, after which will be added on to there. Okay. So if you spend more than 30 seconds in that position, then uh, what's it called? If it goes to overtime, pretty much you're at a negative. Mm. All submissions yeah. are legal. Yeah, it looks like there's no, uh, a match can be won by submission, EBI overtime rules, or by TKO. Yeah, so what EBI, because EBI is a different thing. EBI is just a Eddie Bravo Invitational. You know who Eddie mm. Bravo is? I do. Always on Joe Rogan's podcast, yeah. coming up with all these yeah, right. conspiracy theories or having or following all these conspiracy three theories. But yeah, uh, Eddie Bravo Invitational. Um, we talking about the rules. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So pretty much, there's no points. Um, it goes like a submission only. If it passes like the 15 minute mark or something like that, or 20 mm -hmm. minute mark, then. Um, you go to uh, overtime where like you have each other's back. Wait, time out, time out, time out, time out. You said fifteen to twenty minutes. Yeah, all of this is ten minutes of combat jujitsu, but EBI I think it's like twenty minutes. I've seen like a twenty minute EBI oh, match. Oh, rolled it. Yeah. Twenty. Bro, minutes. they do that all the time. You see oh, Gordon Ryan matches, it'll be like twenty something. Have you mm. watched Gordon Ryan any? Mm -hmm. uh, no, you haven't watched. No, nah, I don't. Jiu -jitsu. I don't. Yeah, well, it's you, the when did you start training again? Uh, a year and a half ago, around June, or was it a year? Year and some change? Yeah, June. I tried. To, I started training in June last uh, last year. June of last year. So it's so it's been a year. Oh, yeah, yeah, been a year. It's year, like just a year, literally. Wow. Yeah, That's I guess crazy. it's been a year. Pretty cool. Yeah, been pretty cool. Been a year. Exactly a year. Yeah. So. You, what, what'd you... Uh, coming in and going to the gym? Yeah, like what, what'd you think your style would be? Or? I knew <laughs> my style. I wanted to be a fantastic striker. Because you wanted to do MMA, you didn't just want to... Yeah. I didn't want to box none of that. I ain't, you got to be young to box. You got to start out, you know, you come in, I'm not no heavyweight. I'm getting <laughs> dropped, let me go try that. But yeah, so I came in, yeah, yeah, I know what time it is. It was yeah. like 250 when you thought about doing this? Yeah, who boxing into? I'm not Mike Tyson. Wait, when you, wait, wait, where you at when you came into the gym? 250. You were 250 when you came into the gym? Yeah. No, you weren't. 250. Remember it vividly. You were that damn big. Yeah, and it felt weird. I had to keep moving my shirt because like, <laughs> my things were showing. It was no. weird. Do you have any pictures? Uh, Do you have any pictures from, yeah, yeah. from when you just joined the gym? There ain't no way. Jalen, he was 250 when he just. 250 for real. 250. Yeah, I was close to 260. Chill when out. When he joined the gym. Yeah. And you're what now? 179? 179 pounds. That's pretty delicious. I ain't even gonna hold you. Delicious. That's delicious, my friend. That's the only word I can think of. That's, nah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's man. Dope. I know. It was a. It, and that wasn't even my yeah, goal. You dropped a lot. It wasn't my goal. It wasn't even my goal. It was just part of. Gonna be heavyweight. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna fight whatever. But, and, I'm, and I knew I wasn't tall enough. <laughs> but it was what it was. I knew it. Man. You thought you was gonna be fighting Deontay Wilder? Yes. If you if you try to box, and I'm throwing. You ain't see. You ain't see the uh, Hispanic dude beat him. I have an opportunity. What his family do? You see that one dude that no, the wrong fight, wrong fight. Yeah, that's wrong Anthony fight. Joshua. Yeah, Anthony Joshua. He's the one that got them things. He beat the. Uh, he beat the. Uh, Shit, I think Wilder beats Anthony Joshua. Joshua. You think so? I think Joshua yeah, gets in there. Cause though. Joshua gets hit. He can box. Like he's yeah. gotten so much better at using his jab and yeah. staying behind the jab and stuff like that. But he. Uh, he gets hit. He's hitable. He gets he's hit, hitable. Bro. Cause he's he has tall man syndrome a little bit. He's six he's six. Good. But the thing is, Wilder has tall man syndrome too. Cause every tall man is gonna have tall. That's why it's called that, obviously. But. Um, it's like when they drop their hands. Remember when I was 
doing that breakdown with Pereira and Izzy, I said they both have tall man syndrome. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, people usually get hit. If it's two tall guys going, they're going to get hit because they're used to dropping their hands and just, you know, backing up. This is when you just started. This was, this was, this, uh, not when you, this is this after, was a couple months before. Yeah, this after, uh, this is football. Yeah. yeah no, but I, no, but I want to see you, like, you ain't take no gym picks or nothing? Let me see. Like some at the gym. I might have one. Of him at the gym? Yeah, because you was you came there to watch. Yeah. That's yeah. Like fine, uh, man. But yeah, I was uh I was I was a big guy. Man, nah, uh and crazy thing is, man, like martial arts, like I haven't really like seriously worked out which I need to get on it. I need to get on like a little bit of strength and conditioning. And this is, like this is I was I did the gym. This is like two weeks before I did the gym. Wow, I didn't remember you being that like that, that big, really. I don't know what happened to me, man. <laughs> I let myself go. I don't know. I don't know, man. I let myself go. My girl left me. Uh, it was a bad time for Terrence's life, man. You know when them lead, when them ladies leave your dog, you you got a you got a low point. But it's all good though. Wait, we got yeah. about that hoe. We got about that hoe. And I don't miss you neither. Yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, I didn't. Yeah. Um, what's it called? I haven't worked out. Like football, like that type of like that type of like dedication towards working out yeah. since football. Mm -hmm. So it's been like what four years, Jeez. or five years. Yeah. So you don't really work out as much, like heavy weight lifting. Bro, I'm in the gym, yeah. but not that gym. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in the yeah. gym. That's one thing I, it's hard for me to get away from working out. Like I feel like I've been or, lifting or for a just long like time. Wanting to be strong. Yeah, I'm. I'm. You know, I've been lifting for a very long time, so it's kind of hard for me to get away from the big. I'm throwing up 225, 240. I want to I throw up in multiple 10, 50 No, nah, but it is know? good to, like, not maybe not necessarily all, like, the super heavy lifting, but mm -hmm. it is really good to work out because yeah. it's, like, injury prevention. Like, so many people, high-level BJJ athletes or mm -hmm. even, like, UFC fighters, like, that's why they all do it. They don't, they're not over here trying to kill 225, rip it out and shit like that, unless they're like heavyweights, but swallow, nah, they, but they do a lot of like muscle endurance, so they'll yeah. do like low weight, high reps, or like kettlebell swings, and like get the like protective of their joints, mm. like protective exercises, like of their joints, just so that, you know, it's stronger, holds the ligaments better, and you know, everything, just building that suit of armor, and yeah. that's what I need to get up, cause like, yeah, te technique wise, you know, it's, it's, it's good, but like, It'll increase your longevity the mm -hmm. more you do it. So, I've already been doing stuff for like my knees. I need to uh, do that knees over toes thing. Yeah, yeah. So I need to do that. Um, knee over toes. Have you watched that Joe Rogan podcast? I haven't watched the. I haven't watched the podcast. Oh well, I've watched like clips. I've watched clips. Of yeah, they've been on Instagram. I told you, you get flimsy on Instagram. Man, the ads. Crazy. We're probably gonna hear ads about it right now. You ain't lying. Um, tell me. Yes, sir. Did you get into? Did you watch the the last event with Tom Aspinall? Sergey Spivak. Yeah. Can we can we can we reminisce how we we was talking about Tom Aspinall and his lineage and his reign? This man is. Nice. He's good. You watched the fights? Yes. You watched them? I watched them. All I watched of them. them. Yeah. It was I watched the main card. Yeah, it, it, it was mid. Bro, let me pull this up. It was pretty mid. Yeah, if I saw like I like was skipping through and I saw like one was in the third round, yeah. I accidentally went too far and I was like, eh, skip it. Yeah. And then meatball Molly. Yeah, and I was actually pretty excited to watch John Herbert too. That was yeah. the that was a fight. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. like third round or something. I didn't watch it. Yeah. But that's just because the event we had Saturday the competition, as I was talking about, I didn't get to watch it. You ain't miss nothing. You ain't miss nothing too. too. It was just no, I watched it. Off. I ended up watching it. Yeah? Yeah, no, I ended up watching it. I really loved the Paul Craig dogged it out. Wow. Wow, hold on. I'm looking at the main one. card right now. Paul Craig, that was a good one, man. That was a good one. Okay, I watched Davy Grant, Daniel Marcos. That, mm. sh that was fire. That was, uh, man, Davy Grant has, uh, first off, that was a robbery. Yeah. You, did you watch it? Nah, I, I seen the first round. I was. <laughs> nah, <it>. but, yeah, <laughs> Davy Grant, I thought he won that. He landed yeah. more than him every round. Uh, I think the judges only took into account the blood because uh, Davy Grant had like a third nostril that, you know, like, yeah, because his nose, like, it didn't, wasn't bleeding from the inside, it got cut type shit. I don't know how it got cut. Wait a minute, wait, you ain't gonna just gonna slick throw out third nostril like that. No, that's what they said on the, on the, on the television. 
Yeah, they said like yeah, almost nostril. like almost like a third nostril. <laughs> they said. <laughs> Who said that? I don't know, but is it Bispin? It was in London. You get your behind whoop, you got a third one. That's What's it DC? But DC was crazy. Cool. He cut the door. So you saying even the, the dude with the third nose won though? You no, yeah, but that's who I thought won, Daniel Marcos, because he was like throwing these overhands, weren't really landed. Like, man, honestly, his activity was just so low. He was just staying on the outside and not really even being that active. Honestly, I don't even think he caused more like damage or just outpouring. I don't, I don't know. It was weird. Mm -hmm. It was weird. It was a split decision. He won. Crowd was booing their ass off. Crowd was booing. David Grant was looking good. He was switching, throwing that weird hook as he does. It was. Yeah, nah, he. You could learn from him. Now, like, real shit, like, people, like, I can learn from him. Like, his mm -hmm. switch stance attacks are actually, like, they're high level. He's older now. He was ahead of his time. I don't know what happened to him. Honestly, uh, he lost, or he beat Cheeto. He beat Cheeto way back when, in the day. And then Cheeto beat him in a rematch uh, yeah, a little know. bit more recently. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. No, no, hold That's on. Another murder hey, about. Yeah, hold on. That's a murderer. Uh, yeah. Shit, Bantamweight division. We're going to talk about that in a second. Uh, uh, Umar. How he no, pulled out of court, no Corey saying it, but um, you think it was an injury? He pulled out of the course. Yeah, they injured. said. Yeah, they said it was injury, and then Rob Font stepped in. Rob Font gonna get his behind beat. Why? Rob Font's good. He just beat. You just you saw him beat Adrian Young. Yeah, Corey Sanhagen just figured out how to go Super Saiyan too. He already got. <laughs> he done already got the go here. Now he got lit electric bolts <laughs> around his body. You know what I'm saying? He didn't realize Super Saiyan two. Super nah, Saiyan two. crazy he came out that chamber, the time chamber. Wow! Really yeah. did something with this, bro. We actually saw him evolve. I watched him evolve in the ring, bro. He got better. Kid you not. Man, and it's from having experiences like the Peter Young Beautiful. fight, yeah. taking it on short notice, still going five rounds, got hurt in like the what third round, four round. Yeah, he got hurt bad too. Yeah, but he was winning that fight yeah. before he got hurt. Spinning back fist. I thought he was winning that. It was a close fight still, but... Yeah, yeah now nah, he got hurt that. Coming back from that. Coming back from the TJ robbery. Mm -hmm. Maybe not a robbery. No, but he beat... Close fight. I thought he won. He beat TJ to the show in that ring, though. T he got the next title shot because uh, TJ's knees were... He tore that shit with a heel hook. Nasty. Ah, oh. TJ didn't, yeah, he didn't tap. Oh. He was one of them. One of them. Oh, oh you want to be? You want to be? You want to be a Spartan? Huh? Okay, I'm gonna show you something. Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm, tapping. I'm taking the whole yeah. leg off. Oh. <laughs> I'm taking the whole leg off. Oh, no. uh, yeah, tore his knee. Yeah. Uh, and I think he his other knee was already hurt going into that fight. Yeah. So that was bad for TJ. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that one taught him some. Even the adversity he faced with Song Yadong. Um, Cause Song Yudong, that was a good fight between him and Song. Um, him fighting against Aljo, like, and you. Do you hear the names? He listened to the names. Bro, like, he's fought though. everybody. He's fought everybody. Man, the only one he hasn't fought that I really want to see is Sean. Sean, that's it. That's Sean, the that's, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be the. That's gonna be the now, but I don't want to see him in a rematch with Aljo too. So whoever I wins think, that, I think I think <laughs> if he wins this, he needs the next title shot. If Font wins this, come on, Richard. If I went, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, but it should be like, it's okay. I don't know if he should get the next title shot, but he was one away. You'd be Corey Sanhagen. How you not one away? You are. So it's it like, is, yeah. I mean, Corey Sanhagen is like, in my opinion, number one contender right now. Yes. Like, we could, that performance we could put these rankings bro. out right now. I'm, yeah. Corey yeah. Sanhagen, he, he could be the next champion for yeah. real. You, um, he's cold. Nah, he's nice. I just don't I, know who's going to win this. Is, he, he dropped that instructional too. He's learning. He's teaching too. So he's gonna be better. He teaches striking for MMA. It's an instructional. That's tough. Yeah. No, I wanted I to. I've been tap. wanting to. I've been yeah. wanting to look into that. I would definitely tap in. He said some interesting stuff. He already dropped like a little bit of free content, like on YouTube. I mean, not not on YouTube on um, Instagram. He was one of my five favorite fighters when I got into it. Nah, he's cool. Yeah. He's cool. One of the same man. He drowns five. people. Yeah. No, because like I said, you it's know why great. he evolved. I say he evolved. Cause I feel like he didn't believe in his grappling and he put so much time in. He was just in the cage trying to dominate. And I loved that about him. I loved it. No, but, but he, he learned. No, he's a brown belt. He's a good grappler. He's a brown belt. Bro, like every time he's on the bottom, he's attacking. Yuri Alcantara is don't, is, and him and uh, Aljamain are the only two who got him in trouble. Yeah. Aljamain yeah. could compete in ADCC if he wants to. You um, or combat wow. jujitsu. Yes. He's good. Bro, he dominated Tanquinho on the ground. Tanquinho is Sean O'Malley's coach. Uh, 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 IBJJF world champion as a bantamweight, so it's like, yeah. Why you keep He's telling me all this? Wow, these dudes, division. these dudes are crazy. Nah, man. yeah, and Aljamain beat him. 
earlier in the because he was in the UFC. Ken Kenya was. I don't know who wins that fight, bro. Between him and Sugar, I just don't know. I don't know, bro. Because Aljo's one of Aljo. Who can I? Aljo is is a he's an unstoppable force. Like it doesn't matter what you tell him, man. It doesn't matter how much you hate him. It doesn't. In a weird way. In a weird. He's he's gonna. Gonna be right. You know what I'm saying? In a weird way, might be right. He's an unstoppable. You can't. But Sean O'Malley though, he he's gonna he's gonna let you Hold know he's here, man. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you know, these are two unstoppable forces coming together. Who who knows what's gonna happen, bro? Because Aljo know he can't strike with Sean. Everybody know. Everybody name I know. He yeah. Can. But what if Sean? Stuff's gonna take down like he did Jan. What we gonna do? What we doing? No, but not even just stuffs all of them. Mm -hmm. It because he off of his back like he has a good guard. That's what people are failing to realize. Oh, just take him down. Aljo's a wrestler. A Look, half the time wrestlers. Now I know Aljo's different. Mm -hmm. He's really good jujitsu, but half the time wrestlers when they take people down, they end up in guard. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah, it's a place you want to be. But that's why everyone is always like stalling in guard in like jujitsu competitions because you know they you want to get out. You know, the only thing you have from there is punches, but that leaves your arms extended, triangles, arm bars, whatever, to get up. That's why even Islam, when he was in uh, Oliveira's guard, wasn't really doing anything but defending. Yep. Mm -hmm. He couldn't do anything but defend. And no, no, no. one time he stood up, another time, oh, Charles was already hurt. So, mm. but, um, and we need to talk about that rematch. That got announced. But, uh, I said it first. What was that? Yeah, Sean O'Malley against Zion, he was throwing up, uh, submissions which got him that room which uh kicked kicked off his hips got up to his feet got up to his Jan feet. was a wrestler who else has he wrestled who else has he wrestled he was a wrestler that's just that says a lot sugar sean that turned him lot. into a wrestler and i like says a lot though. yeah nah sugar sean i've learned a lot from him too i've learned a lot I've, man i've studied that style yeah he's a because he's he's interesting he, he's he's pretty good, man. He's interesting. He's good, Nah, yeah, because he's, he's, I think he's a brown belt, too. Him and Court. That's a fight, man. That's a fight. Two really good strikers. Uh, Sean's, I say, you know, actually, I think they're, they're both more hand-oriented. Mm -hmm. I think Sean has better kicks. Yeah. He has better kicks and better, uh, maybe, understanding of the kicks as well. Mm -hmm. But Corey has better understanding of his hands, I think. Uh, uh, Sean has more power in his hands. Mm -hmm. But Corey... I think his footwork might be better than, than Sean's. Sean's footwork is really good, though. Can I say something? God damn, that's just such Can a close fight. It's such a, they're both fast. I'm gonna they I'm both got a gas tank. I think Corey's gas tank might be better, though. Yeah. Corey's yeah. gas tank Corey might be better. Corey can last five. He's a, he's, we all know he can go five. We all know he can go in five. If we if need to get it there, and he going to hurt you. Bro, two weeks notice with Jan went five. Went five. Yeah, come on, bro. Yeah, that's undeniable. Who wins that fight? Corey versus uh, Sean. I'm gonna tell you how it Look, go. okay, all right. I'm gonna tell you how it go. I'm gonna tell you how it go. I'm gonna tell you how it go. I'm gonna run it down. He starts to get through Aljo. Aljo dominates yeah. uh, Sean O'Malley. I think it's gonna be in a, in, a, in a fashion that we're gonna respect him, but he's gonna go up to he's gonna go up to 45, and then that's when we're gonna get that cheeto on Sean. <laughs> but I think Sean's gonna fall for his loss. I knew you was begging for that. That oh, I think I think that's gonna be a good. We gonna get the evolution. From him going that's, what to everyone, that's what everyone wants. That's like the storyline everyone and Sean. wants. They want to see yeah. the Cheeto and Sean. They want to see the the San Hagen and Sugar. Mm -hmm. um, they want to see. Uh, they need a rematch. Cheeto and Sean. Yeah, Aljo. So you think Aljo dominates? I think he dominates, bro, in a, in a beautiful fashion. Like, like you just think he takes him down? This is a respect fight. Nobody respects him. No, they do. After he beats Cejudo, some people say layoff, whatever. Yeah. But he, he, I think he, for the most part, he's getting his respect. Even I, Sean, though, it's I do think Cejudo had trouble finding his range just yeah. because of the time off. He took the round, bro. Not active, remember? We talked about yeah, that. Yeah, not active. Not active. You got to get that feel for that chaos, yeah, not active, you know. It, the range is off. The time is a little mm -hmm. bit off. You, you need some time to figure it out. And he started to at the end. At the he end. caught him with a couple toes. Cejudo's just too damn small to catch him with the head kicks that he needs. He's little. But uh, Sugar, now, see, you think he, you think he dominates Sugar, but that's... That's far from the truth because Sugar has good takedown defense, good uh, a good guard. He can strike and he he has long enough legs. He's tall, five eleven. He can kick that. He can kick that head, man. He kick it off his shoulders. Five eleven. He kick it off his shoulders. Yeah, He'll long legs. It it's it's five eleven mostly in his legs. Mm. He has like about two feet of torso to rest his legs. I got proven facts though. Aljo can take a hit. I got proven facts. 
document. He didn't take that hit from that head kick from Marlon Moraes. Did you not see when he fought? I'm talking about head kicks. Look, oh, you're talking people about can take hits. Yeah. Only one I've ever seen really take a head kick and survive is Yoel Romero. Just ate one. Mm, Robert Whitaker kicked him in the head. He just ate it. Neck didn't even move. He. <clears throat> Yeah, you're yeah. right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Uh, man of steel. Yeah. Superman. Yeah. For real. Yeah, nah, move, my but um Yeah, so that like I really think Sugar can't catch him with a head kick. As long as he keeps that knee pointed, even if uh uh Al Jermaine shoots on the entry, I think he, he can still get him. That's gonna be a factor too. It's gonna be hard for him to shoot in on Sean. Because mm-hmm. and he has really good teeps, really good push kicks. You yeah. want to learn footwork and, and teeps, especially like for MMA. Go watch, go watch mm-hmm. his his fight against Munoz. Like that's the worst case scenario. Someone who's just gonna keep trying to walk you Danger. down and 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 doesn't care how much CTE they take. He was ba 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 all fight, all fight. Probably would have finished him in that first round or second round if he mm-hmm. didn't get saved by the bell. But like, and then he had to do that shit for two more rounds on the outside because this dude would just wouldn't stop coming forward into strikes but he kept that forward he was tired sure yeah. but he hit him with push kicks he slowed him down he was just beating him up hands were hurting for like eight weeks afterwards <laughs> his hand was like <laughs> crazy imagine <laughs> I'm not that from I don't even want to do it was good head fine but my hands yeah. my hands gone I can't even pick up a four. <laughs> nah, that's bad. Hand <laughs> injuries, mouth injuries, that all. That's fine. These hands get right. But, uh, my head. You gotta protect that noggin. But yeah, so I, I think, you know, I, I'm, I'm going. I don't want to disrespect Aljo, and I think if it gets to the ground for a prolonged amount of time, I think he will obviously have the advantage, and uh, he's really good about not staying in guard, at, uh, taking him down, and getting on the back whenever you try to turn, and. Uh, but Sean has showed that he he can Grammy roll out of that back mm-hmm. take, so he'll still stand with it. But then he'll Grammy roll. Now am I saying he's gonna get better? The better of him in a scramble? I don't know. I think uh, they both relatively have the same amount of gas, but Al Joe's is more surrounded around the wrestling or mm-hmm. and grappling stamina, while Sugar's is more surrounded around the striking Strike. stamina. Yeah. Two different gas tanks, in my opinion. But. Um, yeah, that's a close fight too. That's a close fight, I think, my friend. I'm going with Sugar though. I think he, really? I think he is chosen. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. I'm I going think. Out, I think he, you know, he he has he has a a unique understanding on the strike, and I think Aljo he he does he plays the game too much, and, and you know he like as part as far as as far as like pure violence. Mm-hmm. I think Sugar like as a, pure violence and, and like I'm gonna win this fight. Fuck the scores, fuck the scores. I think that's why Aljo wins. I'm win this fight. I think that's why he wins. Why? Why? Because he makes sure that all those dudes that think they violent aren't violent no more. And he has proven that. Look, Marlon Moraes used to be one of the most violent bantamweights on the planet. And he came in there and fought. He made him uh, like respect the boxing range. Then he started dipping his head off. Came in for a takedown. Boom! Just... Can I ask you a question though? And he was getting dominated that fight. It wasn't really like he was dominating the fight and just got knocked out. He was like he got hurt. I mean he was he wasn't yeah. getting dominated. It was like back and forth a little bit, but he yeah. got hurt multiple times. He shot on Marlon Rice already and Marlon got up. Yeah. And it was like a, yeah. So I got a question for you though. Head kicks. We got push ups on this fight. I say good twenty ball. This is a big fight. Twenty. Twenty. <laughs> hey, look, big hold on. <laughs> hey, hold on, brother. Look, I know. I, know, I know you're trying to disrespect me. <laughs> but look, look. Um, big numbers, bro. Big numbers. Big numbers. <laughs> we can do this. We can shake on Not camera. 20. We ain't doing 20. We can do five. Let's do five. I got hair on my chest. I five is. Five look, five is. Tough. You it is. Make it these are on. Because these are. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is like on call push ups. I'm so it's it like, yeah. so it's like we on the phone. He says something I don't like. Do a push up. I would be doing it for y'all right now, but what, what was the bet we hey, made? Hey. He bet on Pereira for the rematch. Uh, Israel Adesanya versus Pereira. Yeah, Pereira yeah. got frozen. Yeah, we had another one too, and I do. And then, and then, yeah, you just had the most recent one of. Uh, you said Volk out here. You said Volk. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, no. Nah, was I, I said Volk? I said Volk. That was it. That was it. Was it. Volk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got numbers training. too. Don't worry, we up on the score. Yeah, you remember that we up on the score. Yeah, you was training in that yeah. damn temple. Oh, man. Yeah, man. The ancestors didn't get him right, though. Oh. His ancestors didn't do it. 
Just next. like Pereira's ancestors might not do it this weekend. Can I say something too? Can I say something? Because Alex Pereira, he, uh, you know. What you mean? Don't you? Three please. months. It's been just three months. He's about to fight this week. He just got knocked out, like, worst of his career. Unconscious. Bad. He's eating off the worst of his career. It was the worst of his career. When's he ever been knocked out like that? He got dropped. But look, he goes out and dominates fashion. Three rounds dominating? Or what? Domination. I mean, okay, hold on. Before we get in, let's finish the recap. We yeah, don't, no. we don't get don't, into don't team 291. Yeah, don't, don't team me up. Yeah. Um, I got hype. I'm probably going to finish off with 291, mm -hmm. but what? Okay, so we had Leron Murphy against Joshua Cooley Bell. Leron Murphy, yeah, he, he did good. He did good. He showed a lot of potential. He showed that he can just wrestle. He can strike, but he could he could wrestle as well. Like uh, he has a gas tank for wrestling, and I can tell it's almost like he has a background in wrestling. I wonder if he does. But mm -hmm. his striking looked on point. But it looked like whenever he got uncomfortable, he would he would shoot in. It didn't really affect his gas tank and dominated him. Uh, Jai Herbert, Fred um, I did not watch that. Jai Herbert lost. Damn. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Fred Ziam. He's a Frenchman, right? Good for mm -hmm. France. Um, Paul Craig, Andre Buniz. I've been Paul meaning Craig. to talk about that. Do you watch that one? Paul Craig. Okay. You got to watch Paul no, that Craig. No, that was actually. Yeah, he's a boy. <laughs> you got to yeah, watch Paul Craig. Yeah, come on. No, that was crazy, yeah. though. Andre Muniz, I actually thought he, was, he might win. I thought this was a hard matchup. Mm -hmm. First fight down at middleweight. He was at light heavyweight. Remember, he, he fought Jamal Hill yep. and Goliath. Beat both of them. Beat both of them. That's crazy. Potential. So you could see the potential, but, like, the consistency wasn't there. Like, because he doesn't have the best striking, and he's going against, you know, like, he's, you have more of an advantage if you're a heavier grappler than a lighter one. Yeah. Let's just say that. Yeah. So yeah. him being at middleweight, he's probably going to be a heavier, or at least his frame is crazy. He's big, yeah. tall. You can tell those kicks. Mm -hmm. Man. They hurt. Push kicks. Big dude like that, that hurts. It's jujitsu. It, it's crazy. It's a sight to see, dog. Nah, yeah. He controls people. On, like, he doesn't get hit. He rarely gets hit on the ground. Like, Overhook setup I, I showed in class. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, over in Nogi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of that I got from him. Because his, his, Bro, he's like, like, his overhook is nasty. He gets on the ground. And it's like he did nice Jamal Hill. Go watch that back and just watch yeah, the yeah. technique in it. He had one arm. Jamal was about to punch him up. Frame went to the other side. Oh, crazy. That's crazy. scary. It was nasty. Bro, when you can do that to big people, you, you understand, like, you can get them up out of there. You can get them, you can get them up out of there. Another uh, crazy armbar technician, um, mm -hmm. what's called Julia Sto Stolyarenko, mm -hmm. beat Molly McCann with that armbar. Mm -hmm. She has 11 wins, or 12 wins, and 11 of them are by submission. Wow. She, like, 11 and 8, or 12 and 8, but... By submission. But, but that was 11 wins, 10 of them by submission. Yeah, like eleven and eight, I think. That's pretty scary. Like she goes in there, and she she, she in gets hit, she takes her down. Are you? <laughs> no, she got hit because she got hit by Molly McCann. <laughs> nah, she really in London. Oh, got hit. Ah, ah. Okay, shot. Molly doesn't have the best ground game, so when she got her there, she's like a Hodger Gracie black belt mm. or brown belt, some going crazy. Hodger Gracie, you know who that is? Mm. That's the best closed guard. He has the best like closed guard ever. Hodger. Yeah, I'm not tripping. Best closed guard ever. Man. Yeah, like, dude, cross college choke. Yeah. Legendary. Oh, my chewing nice. <laughs> I'm about to be hitting. I'm there every day. Yeah, I'm there every day. <laughs> uh, dude, just, just coffee, honestly. I need a, uh, Jason told me to try black rifle coffee. I need to. I need to get on that. Yeah, no, sure. African African coffee beans too, but you can get them online. They hit too. They too. I've had some coffee from Haiti. That was good. Yeah. Uh, coffee from where else? Costa Rica. That was really good. I know. I need to try like some Colombian coffee mm -hmm. or Cuban. Which one's famous for? I probably say Colombian. Some that coffee. I want. Yeah, I'm a, that's gonna be my little hobby. Yeah. Trying coffee. Coffee, yeah. Burgers, that's my quest. Burgers. I'm trying to find the best burger. You need to go to uh. What's I already. Name? I've been to Burger Barn or what? What's the Trill Burger? Yeah, James Harden was just promoted on the brand. I don't know if I've been to Trill Burger. I've been to a couple of like the halal ones. Those mm -hmm. ones are really good. Fuck with halal burgers. Those are delicious. Yeah, like just the way like they, they cook the meat. 
Yeah, right. no, because you could like have so many. It's like pizza. You have so many different combinations. Yeah, right. You can put whatever yeah. fried egg on that. Yeah. True. I'm a sushi guy. Sushi. Oh, no, yeah. but it's because you have a bunch of different options, yeah. combinations. My brother put me on, man. I'm on that sushi. Sushi. So when did you start eating sushi? Man, let me tell you. I didn't like. I didn't like nothing raw. Pause. I didn't like nothing, none of that raw sushi. None of that stuff. It was. It was. It was disgusting to me at first, right? So I start, you know, <laughs> kicking my brother. The dude was like, man, when you go get some sushi. So I go in there. I go to the little sushi bar. And then uh, I got the chopsticks, but then the the the, uh, the waitress knew I was like a, the casual, and then she gave me the little <laughs> kid chopsticks, the little the little ones with the what's it called. So now I feel like it's home. I love this place. This, the this kids, the ones that don't the ones like break little, apart. Yeah, I don't gotta put my fingers this and that. They just wow, wow. oh okay. Yeah, bro, this dude, this dude, Neil gave me some ramen, ramen, all the ramen like it was off the Naruto, uh, Naruto. Uh, this is where show, huh? What what place is this? Man. Uh, ramen and, and sushi. I know Tamashi has it's called, ramen and, and sushi. Called. Tamashi, have you ever been there? Keepers. That's what keepers. 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 Okay. keepers. Yeah, keepers. yeah, no free plugs. Keepers. Bet, bet, yeah, yeah. Keepers. Keepers, man. Tough, tough. I go there all the time. And it's sad because I'm going every date there too, so every female, yeah, we're going to Keepers. I ain't even going to yeah. That's the best spot. Keepers. Keepers. I spent $400 in a day there. In a day? Damn, damn. <laughs> yeah. Can't move. You trip. Be but, in the bathroom uh, like a house party. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, we got. Uh, oh yeah, but Paul Craig. Yeah, nah. He finished Andre Manu's and he and he like it, it was like he was fighting for his life. Like when he got up, he like, he wasn't even celebrating. He just got up. He was like just breathing. Like like he was Whoa. fighting for his life. Like Whoa. like that was a real fight. Cause he, the Andre Manu, Muniz is a, te- a terrifying grappler too. He he fucking um he submitted uh Jacare. Submitted. Submitted. Submitted Jack Ray. Um, what else? What else did he do? Andre Muniz. He's Respect a, to Paul Craig. Though, he's man. a dog. But yeah, man, Paul man. Craig Respect. survived that one. Knocked him out on the ground. Vicious elbows. Respect, man. Oh, Muniz just got submitted by Brendan Allen, though. Mm-hmm. Allen's a dog. Yeah. He, he, I just, I recently really started watching him, and he, he looks like he could be a middleweight yeah. contender. Uh, Muniz had that born fight with yeah Uriah Hall submitted Eric Anders too. Anyways, yeah, Muniz good grappler. Thought he was gonna win. Paul Craig pulled it out. Um, I already talked about Julia stole the Ranko mm-hmm. armbar and Molly McCann yeah. just ran in there, got hit, took it down armbar. Crazy, like Molly was tapping and and she because the ref wasn't stopping it, break it. Yeah, nah. Break the whole arm. I know her arm was hurt. Nathaniel Wood, crazy fight. Andre Feely. Crazy yeah, right. fight. Like, nah, they were scrapping, dropping yeah. each other. Uh, right. Like, Nathaniel, right. I think it was like second, third round, something like that. He mm-hmm. got dropped. Nathaniel Wood's a fun guy to watch if you want to like study like low kicks. Mm-hmm. Really good with low kicks. Um, all kinds of different kicks. But yeah, he he uh, got dropped. Uh, Feely got on top, took his back. Nathaniel like woke up. <laughs> he like woke up he got up took Andre Feely's back like standing or something took him down and then he woke up yeah, and, then, <laughs> and then he like and then he like realized okay I'm on the back now hey, and then, but he couldn't finish him Andre Feely ended up spinning and standing on top yeah nah, it, was, it was a crazy fight Wait, though Nathaniel you know, Woods really good yeah. he was fighting that band of weight he said the weight cut was getting too hard and then now he's at featherweight just be Andre Feely that's a big big name Tom Aspinall Walkout was crazy. The the crowd, London loves him. He's a absolute star. Uh, after uh, Curtis Blades, uh, that whole injury and everything, yeah. um, that was supposed to be his like show, you know, Happy his main event. Do. That was good. Happy for him. Biggest mystery. Said it before, mm-hmm. and uh, you he know is. he he is. He said he wanted. He got his, his eyes set on John Jones. That was that, that was probably the best way to call out John Jones. Now it's like friendly com- camaraderie, even though they both know they're gonna kill each other. I think John probably will stay for him. If he for beats him? if he beats Stepe. I don't wanna count out Stepe, but Stepe gets dubbed. Dub. This is John Jones. <laughs> you talking about murderers. He created murderers. Okay, okay, but Stepe heavyweight goat. He's heavyweight goat. He uh look, he you just he just might be past his his due, cause the DC trilogy, the Ngannou yeah. duplex, and uh, you ever heard the story of Cain and Abel? He was talking about John Jones. <laughs> 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 that was, that was a, 
that was a history lesson about John John. What are you talking about right now? Don't, don't copy him out. Nah, he is a maniac. Yeah. <laughs> John's a maniac. Is this still on? Fuck. Oh. 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 It's full. Can't be full. Oh, hold on. We still got that one. That yeah, was still yeah. Up. Hold on. Yeah. Please tell me that's a lot. That was a good one. I ain't gonna lie. That one, that one got a stick. Say yes. Thanks. It's over. <laughs> it's over. It's over. God, that's crazy. <laughs> Can't even what? It was funny because his face, dog. No one was like, no one was like, see ever. Like I was trying to really remember the story. Like, he said that judge. I was like, ah, oh. because I knew Kane was a bad motherfucker. <laughs> he dropped a lot of pieces, man. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, real really crazy. And John Jones always been vicious. Gets you down, elbows nasty, dirty. No, and then Side when you make him mad, when you make him mad, he goes. Like I'm he's really trying to hurt you. Like, you know how people mm. grab a wizard and they're like, you know, they he's yeah, like using it like crank. a position. Yeah. But he's like cranking this like like you know I know you're not gonna tap, but I'm a He's that dude in the gym everybody annoyed of. Why you keep hitting me? Stop hitting me though. Yeah, sidekicks to the knee dirty. To the knee, when you make him mad, he goes I, spinning the elbow. You can come in if you want. But uh yeah, now I think Tom Aspinall gives him a good challenge. Him and Yael Tanel Almeida are two really good heavyweights. Mm -hmm. They're like the new generation. New gen. They're gonna be fighting Cyril Gunn when it's all said and done. Cyril Gunn and yeah. whoever else is gonna be at the top, Pavlovich, Sergey Pavlovich, all them. I like Pavlovich. Yeah. Yeah, right. they all gonna be fighting yeah. after John Joe. Because he said he wants to retire after Steve Bay. So if he retires, they're all gonna be fighting each other. But if he stays, if he beats Stipe, Tom Aspinall goes and beats uh, the winner of, who do you say, Gon and, is it S Sergei Spivak? Mm -hmm. Gon's fighting Spivak. Mm -hmm. They try to test him with another grappler. But, but this is. This he is needs to get tested. Yeah, he does. Evolve. He does. Evolve. Anyways, so if he goes out there and beats the winner, man. I know, and Aspinall's going to try to take him down. He's going to try to take down Gon. I think Gon wins that match. Oh, but, exactly. yeah, I think because Espinosa's mainly, like, he, he has a lot of tools and he uses his elbows very well. His mm -hmm. one-two is beautiful down the pipe. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> he uses low kicks very well. But, like, he's more like boxing or, like, close and up-in-your-face oriented. Rather than Gon, he's going to be flowing around the outside. I think they both have equal footwork, to be honest. One yeah. just uses it for inside and one uses it for outside. And I think guy, yeah, he's really gonna stomp them knees like John Jones style. I think he's really gonna try to do that. But uh, it'll be an interesting fight. But we're looking very far into the future. Tom yeah. Aspinall, he's a real deal, Probably. a fucking star. If he becomes heavyweight champion of the world, you know how big that'll make that sport in general. Because then UK, because UK is mainly they're about boxing right now. No turn London up. Like they had, like they have Michael Bisping as a champ. Um, Patty Pimlin's a new star, but like. They don't really have a champ. They have the heavyweight champion of the world. That's like them having a Tyson Fury, you know? I feel you. So it's like, they've been wanting that for, Ever. you know? But in MMA, it's a new new thing. Mm -hmm. UFC 291, though. Uh, I think Pereira, I think he gets dropped. I've been thinking about it. And, uh, no, I've been thinking about it. I, thinking it's not just. Really? <clears throat> yeah, because, no, because I mean, like, they're going to fight. It's gonna be a fight, like nobody's gonna get dropped first second. Right? So it's like or like, you know, it's not gonna be like a Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor. I mean they both got the power to do that, but I just don't think it's gonna play like that because Young's very patient. I think Pereira's gonna try kicking his legs, check a couple times, like deaden the footwork a little bit, then like jab, like wrestle him to the cage, get up in the clinch, let it get off the break, catch him with a left hook like he did, uh rock hold after, you know, his arms get a little fatigued and start dropping. Tall man syndrome, once again. Jan Blavich is a really good striker. His wrestling is a little suspect. He could get it to the ground, but his defense is a little suspect. His guard is a little suspect. But as far as top control and, and that kind of grappling and, and uh, his striking, solid, A1. Who beat him striking-wise? What are we talking about right Who's now? Who's beating him striking-wise? No, Glover no. Did, had a really good fight against him, both striking and grappling. Glover was really good. You just said Jan Blachowicz was a good striker. So what's Alex Pereira? One hundred percent, world class striker, really good. If, striker. He, if he starts, if he, if he, I, look, I don't know if I don't know who's better. That's why we're watching the fight. I know who better. 
I've seen. I don't know who's striking is better. Well, that's why we're watching kickboxers. I've seen him beat champion MMA. And Jan Blavić was an IMMAF uh, Muay Thai world champion, amateur. Muay Thai world champion. Yeah, he gonna have, he gonna have skins on the wall too. But like, and yeah. even just think about it, it's MMA striking. It's not kickboxing. It ain't. Yeah, you so can it's one hundred percent different. Yeah, anytime. Yeah, kickboxing mm -hmm. you gotta let go of a clinch, and this one you don't. And he yeah. has a judo black belt, I think so too. Yeah, he's a uh, he. I don't know, man. He's I a wrestler. Think, I think Rare gets, <laughs> gets him up out of there, man. I think he gets him up out of there. Could, but uh, I think he wins that. I think Poirier wins the Gaethje matchup. Absolutely, Let's I look at this card. Let's look at this card. We're gonna run through it real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, you said who? I think Gaethje is looking better, but I think Dustin goes dog walks. I think they both become better mixed martial artists. Yeah, I think Dustin, fight. but Dustin really, he grew from that McGregor trilogy because he really had to be a mixed martial artist. Like had He had to take him down. He had to wear the arms. He had to keep him guessing. He had to really like add up his jab. Could just mm -hmm. be a boxer. He had to kick, kick the legs. He was kicking kick. the legs and doing well. Yeah. He, doing well. I think because he was more hand oriented in the past than, and he had to use his jujitsu against Michael Chandler, right? Who ain't got no jujitsu, you know? Crazy. Jiu-Jitsu sales evolved. went through the roof after that. I like watching fighters, uh, uh, you know, evolve. Evolve. Push, man. It's beautiful. Like a damn it's diamond beautiful, in the rough, bro. Yeah, yeah dog. It's That's beautiful. important. Love they do. Yeah. But, um, Justin Gage, is a savage, too. He's been getting better. He uses wrestling against, uh, Fazeev. We'll see. But That's I think scary. Dustin wins that. Steven Thompson, Michelle Pereira, I think. Steven Steven Thompson. Thompson. <laughs> Yeah, jump He's off the cage though. if you want to. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna kick you in your lip. Try it. Anthony Pettis knocked him out. Jump off the cage and those spin. It was like it wasn't off the cage, but it was like it was close to the cage. Mm. Yeah, I think he's Superman punch. punch. And try me. Yeah. We'll see. What? Stephen Thompson crazy. Uh wow. Kevin Holland and Michael Chiesa. Yeah, I think he dog walks. I think he beats Michael Kiesa yeah. as well. Kevin Holland, he's a future champion. Okay, I don't care what ball. nobody says. People he's hate on him. Champ? He's a future champ. People hate on him. People say his his ground game, whatever, his wrestling, whatever. Uh, Kevin Holland is a future champion. Okay. Okay. That's he's a, a future that's champion. A hot take, my he's very, like, he learns, like, his he got his black belt from Travis Luter. It's not like he got it from nobody. Oh, okay. He got it from a legit dude himself. He has and a story, too. It's not like he's ever, like, jujitsu wise been dominated. Like, in wrestling exchanges, and like that Hamza Chamaib, did he get tired? Was he not preparing for him? He was preparing for Daniel Rodriguez, got Hamza Chamaib on two days' notice. Still looked good in the wrestling exchanges. Got the lesser half of a guy mm -hmm. who's a national champion in wrestling. Got tired in the exchange. Hamza submit, submitted him. Could have happened to any black belt. Mm -hmm. uh, either not like a Gilbert Burns type of black belt. I'm not saying he's world yeah, champion yeah. level. But his, for MMA, his, MMA, his jiu-jitsu was good. He knocked out Jacare from the bottom. He submitted his last opponent, I believe. He um, could have beat Kevin Holland. I mean, Kevin Holland. Oh, he, he knocked out his. Thompson. Yeah, if he, he fucking grappled. grappled. Anyways, yeah. So oh, I think yeah. I think he's a future champion, but I think Kevin Holland uh, beats Michael Chiesa. Bobby Green versus Tony Ferguson. That's interesting. Oh geez. Yeah, no, that's. Oh geez, the fight at the barbershop. <laughs> yeah, that is an OG fight. Who do you think wins? I would, I'm, I love to see that fight. Who do you bro? think wins? Bobby Green. You think Bobby Green? Bobby wins? Green did that little that Philly shell. What that Philly shell was throwing it right. He, I think he was kind of getting touched in this last one though. He was getting hit by, and it, it was by Flash Gordon, who doesn't have the best strike. He was he's hit. good. He's he tough dude. Hit. But he can. He was getting hit. I ain't gonna lie though. He was getting hit. Yeah. So. We'll see. We'll see. If, I mean, but pace has never been a problem for Bobby Green. Tony and Tony hasn't Ferguson's been biggest weapon was pace. He hasn't been looking good, bro. Then Nate Diaz won, but it was on short notice. He wasn't supposed to fight Nate Diaz. He was supposed to fight a boxer in Li Jing Liang. I know they worked grappling because he took Nate down, and that's how he got kind of that guillotine. Remember? Because he used to be a wrestler. Wow. He was like an all American wrestler. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, maybe you're right. Because yeah. that whole car got fucked up because I Hamza mean, missed yeah. weight. Mm -hmm. Messed everything up. Fucked everything up. Messed everything up. Karen Holland lost. Uh, Nate went out good though. Nate went out. He went out good. Strong. That. He wasn't gonna fight Hamza either way. Why would I fight this guy? <laughs> why they, Why y'all trying to do why that? Why y'all trying to do this to me? Man, yeah, it's, 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 they, they try to make him go out sad. I mean, now he's fighting Jake Paul. He damn near. I don't know if he's gonna do it to himself he or get what. Dropped by Jake Paul. I don't know. <laughs> he gets dropped by Jake Paul, bro. <laughs> I don't want to see that. I don't want to see it either. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, yeah, uh, Ismail Bonfim's brother, Bonfim, is fighting Trevin Giles. I got Giles. Got Giles? Yeah. 
I'm gonna go Gabriel. Uh, Derek Lewis, Marcos Rodrigo de Lima. Derek Lewis, the Lou. I got anybody but Derek Lewis. I <laughs> firmly believe Derek Lewis is in this for a check now. I don't. I love Derek Lewis. I yeah, swear I do. They Listen. all in it for a check. No, Derek Lewis is in fighting for. Money. <laughs> <laughs> no, Derek Lewis is in. Yeah, Respectfully, I, I love Derek Lewis. You know he's from H Town, holding it down. But hey, bro. Jake Matthews, his last Jake. his last fight was uh, who we fought. Matthew Schmelzberger, he lost. What? Decision? Beat Andre if he held uh, that's cool. okay. Lost to Sean Brady. That was welterweight. Is this like Sean now? Brady? Oh, this is welterweight. Oh, Sean Brady. Lost. Tough. Got taken down. Probably Sean Brady's you know a good grappler. Um, I'm starting to respect grappling's game a little bit more. That's good. You mm-hmm. should grappling. Cause it's Aljo. It's how you dominate people. Yeah, it is how you dominate people. That's how you. No, that's how you stay fighting. And yeah. I used to Stay healthy. I'm getting there going to wars all day. Is. Hamza didn't take much damage to that Gilbert Burns fight. I think Dustin changes. Since I said that, I think Dustin evolves. This is his. This is his. She think he takes him now? He's all the way around. He's about to be all around everything. I think so. I, yeah. think, I think he makes it. Bro, Gaethje, you can't just. You got to take Gaethje down. You got to catch those leg oh, kicks. Oh, it is hard. Take He's going to start. I'm tripping. Flipping. It's hard to take He's going to get tired from the wrestling, though. He already admitted to himself he is tired from wrestling. Gaethje? Dustin does, too. He ain't no wrestler. but ain't no wrestler. He's we'll see. I mean, I think he'll catch a couple leg kicks, but I don't think he really tries to, or he's really going to be able to Gage catch him destroyed down. his legs from the kicks last time. Yeah, that didn't feel good. That he's probably going to mix in the takedowns. Yeah, we're going. Um, ah, man, maybe Miguel Baeza wins. Yeah. I might go Baeza. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I like Mac. Mac he's like, he, he's been, he's been growing. Down. He's been looking good. Right. Um, Is that the last one? No. CJ Vergara. Against Venetia Salvador. Mm. Fury guy. I'm going CJ. Fury. Nasty fight with. Uh, didn't he tell you to. Jason just told you to watch that fight with CJ no. Vergara and. Um, what's the dude? Um, Jacob Silva. Yes. And Fury. Mm. They call it The War. They have a YouTube video about it. You should go watch it. The War. Yeah, that's. Mm. Matthew yeah. Smellsberger fights against Medi- Medich. I'm going Medich. I'm with you. Miranda Maverick, her opponent, hey. probably canceled. Because, oh. look, what's this? 12 and 4, no pictures. Just canceled, yeah, it's canceled. Probably canceled. Probably AI. It doesn't happen, that's my prediction. Mm-hmm. Guys, here you have it, episode 3. In the books. The world versus the way. We're going to try and get on Spotify, maybe Apple Music or something. Um, let us know what, what other platforms you might want to listen on, and we'll get it going. Um, guys. Like, subscribe, comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for tuning in to the Will vs. the Way episode yes, three. Jalen, anything you want to say? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> right. Peace, guys.